Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about the notion of aplomb. It's the notion of standing in the vertical. I talk a lot about it on my film, Ballet Secret Code. And it seems to be a subject that divides the ballet world into two camps. Those that stand in their aplomb and those that think they stand in their aplomb, but maybe they don't. So I'll start with a little demonstration. I'll demonstrate as best I can. I'm not dancing anymore. I'm not in shape anymore. But hopefully I can show you on this short video a little bit about where I'm coming from. I'm going to start in third position because fifth position is just not going to happen anymore. So this is the third position. According to my ballet teacher of more than 20 years, Roger Tully, who passed away in February 2020 at the age of 92, whose teacher, Kathleen Crofton, was a pupil of Pavlova, who of course was a pupil of Cicchetti. This is the aplomb. It's the line that goes through the centre of the body. It goes down the back of the front leg and the front of the back leg in the fifth position, or in my case, third position. We have the dancers who are trained to stand at the bar like this, turn you to the side and not shift their weight over, which is what we do today. So if I turn around and face the back, most of the time when we do a warm up exercise, you'll see dancers shift from one side to the other. Okay. In early days, they didn't the weight stays in the centre. It does mean that when you're standing at the bar, you may not necessarily be able to take your hand off the bar and balance straight away at the beginning of the bar, which a lot of dancers are asked to do today. It's almost as if they don't need the bar at all. But why do a ballet class with a bar if you don't need it? You have a bar for the reason. It's to help you find your aplomb. The idea is that when you jump, you go from here and you go straight up in the air. So if you're spending your time at the bar, perched on one leg, and you have to jump, there is an additional step you have to take to come back to the vertical before you jump. Roger and I sat once for about six hours in the basement of the British Film Institute looking at some archival ballet footage and we went all the way back to the beginning of the 20th century and we watched a very early film of Nijinsky's La Premidi d'Enfant and the dancers are very very much standing in their centre. As each decade goes by you notice there's a slight tendency to not stand in the centre, to move the weight over. And as we get more and more towards the end of the 20th century and the legs get higher and higher and higher, the body has to get out of the way to allow those legs to reach those vertiginous heights. When we start to do that, we start to come off our centre. So this is an experiment that I do with students who come to me for the first time and I'm trying to explain to them why I would like them to stand in their body and not on their legs. I'm exaggerating. People don't stand like this, but in order for you to see the difference, I'm having to exaggerate a little bit. Most of the time, when you degage, you automatically shift onto the ball of the foot because you want to be able to take your hands off the bar and balance. Okay. Now, Let's go back to third or fifth position. And instead of that montant doing and shifting the weight over, where the sense of gravity is pulling down on my knee and over onto my toes. In this case, I'm going to hold onto the bar and dégager to the side and try and stay up in the center using 
very strong muscles in my torso and in my back so that when I go up in the air, whether I'm going to do a releve or a rise or a jump, I'm going to go straight up through the middle and not shift first before going up. Okay, so here I am, back again in third position, hand firmly on the bar, and up I go. And if I'm going to do something in the centre, the efficiency is there. There isn't the extra step to get back to the centre to get back up into the end. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it, and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.